Your work is very well known all around the world and uh, your experience has matured within and outside the academia. How do you think the prestigious advance grant from the European Research Council will help you enhance your theoretical framework, develop and find new reach? Well, uh, yes, I, 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 I have a, a great experience of uh, working outside Europe in the wider world, starting from my PhD dissertation, which I did uh, at the University of Yale uh, at United, in the United States, but my field research was conducted in Brazil, and, and, and I lived uh, for a while in a favela of Rio de Janeiro. So I started there. The, my uh, interest on non-European and non-Eurocentric type of experiences and other kinds of knowledges. And uh, I think that uh, that um, uh, that experience then was developed in several projects I conducted in, uh, in Brazil, in Colombia, in Mozambique, in Angola, in South Africa, in India, um, particularly a very large project that I conducted uh, funded by the MacArthur Foundation at the end of the 90s, beginning of the 2000, uh, also on the, the name was Reinventing Social Emancipation, which was already very much interested in capturing different experiences of outside world. I think the Alice is, um, is a movement forward uh, in the sense that for the first time, I have a team of researchers, of younger researchers, young researchers either as PhD students or uh, young postdocs that will join me at my center to conduct this research. In the previous uh, projects, I had to work with people around the world in these countries, but each one of them was in his uh, or her own country at conducting their own work and, uh, and of course, uh, participating in this uh, project on um, a part-time at all, if at all. Now it's different. Now we have a team. Now I think that we, are, we may, in fact, be more uh, ambitious in terms of our goals, more coherent in terms of our strategies, both at the theoretical level and the methodological level. And I think that the products of this research, our outputs, will be more cogent. I mean, will be probably uh, more uh, forceful in bringing uh, the message, that's, that's the main message for this project, of this uh, uh, innovative experiences of social tra progressive social transformation and social innovation that is taking place in the in this country. So the conditions now are different. It is, uh, is, uh, is uh, as you said, is uh, coming from a prestigious institution uh, like the European Research Council. is very well funded, as uh, as people know, and therefore allows me to have a, a first class team and and be ambitious in terms of goals. It's going to be very demanding. Uh, on them uh, uh, and on me, as you can imagine, because w we are going to have uh, at least three languages in our project, and it's not easy. And um, and and in fact, we have to, uh, for instance, uh, seduce people not just for the people from the Portuguese or the or the Latin world, uh, Portuguese, Italian, or Spanish, to learn English, but also the English-speaking uh, people to start learning Portuguese or Spanish which is uh, quite uh, a complex task sometimes uh, because English people sometimes don't feel the need to learn uh, the languages. But uh, I think it, that's the take of the project. So it's, uh, it's a project that uh, uh, in itself, uh, the project in itself, the process of production of this, pro uh, of this project uh, announces the very ideas that are at the core of this uh, project because we have within the project, we have the North and the South in a sense not only in terms of perspectives, but in terms of languages. And therefore, uh, we are going to face within the team the difficulties of developing these dialogues. But that's a challenge. I mean, if, it, if you, I were going to repeat my previous projects, I wouldn't, of course, uh, start this one. So it is the idea that this is something completely new.